Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. In this video I'd like to go over boons, how important they actually are to your character and whether they are actually worth either grinding out or buying the campaign buyouts to obtain them. So first up, if we look at my character here, these are currently my stats. I currently have all of my boons currently set up here. I currently own 66 points. I haven't completed every single campaign as I do not intend to complete Acquisitions Incorporated. But that aside, I have these 66 points and I have allotted them to all of my different boon slots here depending on what build I was running with. If you hover over a boon point here, like this one for example where it just gives stats, you can see it will give 250 stats or rating points per boon point essentially. And this is across the board with all the other ratings. And then of course you have the maximum hit points which will give a thousand per rank or per boon point. Then you have some other unique ones essentially giving you buffs against certain mobs. And then you have this great one here, this being the marathon runner, giving you that extra movement speed, giving 2.5% extra movement speed per boon point you put into this up to a maximum of 5, giving you 12 point five extra movement speed with this being fully maxed out. This is very good for running through dungeons and whatnot and just to get away from that sluggish slow movement you have when you're on zero percent movement speed. Another good one here is simple support giving you that companion influence essentially giving you more stats. You do have ones here which will essentially boost the effectiveness of your standard healing potions. They're all right, but they're not going to do a whole lot to increase it. Essentially only giving a total of 1% per boon point. You'd have to slot in there 15 boon points and you could get 15% extra heal essentially from the potion. Then at the very top tier, we of course have our tier fives, which are again unique altogether being essentially buffs to alternative bonuses essentially like incoming healing, crit severity, outgoing healing, and like recharge speed, and a few others there as well. To top things off, we have our master boons. To be frank, none of these are actually very useful. However, as a tank, when you're running in high endgame content, where such bosses and such hit you really hard, focus retaliation can definitely help you maintain that aggro. If you were to run content without any of these boons, you'd be perfectly fine to do so. The only point that I recommend to invest any Zen or Astral Diamonds into purchasing campaign buyouts would be when you're at endgame. When your character is pretty much maxed out and there's nothing, nothing else you could work on, you have all your enchantments fully ranked out, you have all the best in slot gear for your build, and all those companions, mounts, and insignias. That is when I would start working on these boon points, building them up. However, what you can do as a kind of free to play aspect is you can go to your campaign tab and you can just slowly progress and work on these campaigns, slowly going through the tasks and grinding out that currency. This is something I would just do when you have free time and you don't know what else to really do in the game. And you could also go with a group of friends and just grind out the campaigns, hop from zone to zone, you get bored of one campaign, you can just work a little bit on another, and so on and so forth, until you finally get them completed and you collect those boon points. It takes quite some time to gather up as many as, like I currently have, the 66 here, and the benefits from those points is not a lot. You'd be much better investing your time and money into other aspects of upgrading your character if you haven't done so already. There are some campaigns however where it may be beneficial to purchase a campaign buyout if you seriously don't want to grind it out. An example would be like the Tyranny of Dragons where you have eight boon points which you can collect just from the single campaign completion token as well as that, the Jungles of Chult also can give you 8 with its completion token, where I believe those completion tokens are a chunk more expensive than the others, but in the long run they are definitely more worth it than just purchasing, let's say, a campaign buyout of Sharandar. Sharandar is a very it's a decent campaign. You jump through different zones as you go along, and it's not too repetitive. 
that is the main issue which I have with campaigns is that you're just popping into a zone and you're just grinding out those daily quests those, those blue ones that you see here essentially and you're just grinding them out and farming that currency and you're generally locked behind a weekly haul so you can only get a certain amount per week and it's just a pain it's just a pain once you have all the story complete I don't see why we have to grind out these boons completing all the same tasks again and again and over again but alas that is how it is the good thing is is that boon points are not actually that beneficial for your character so I wouldn't worry about them it is one of the last things you should do when building your character I'm gonna jump over to the preview server so I don't have to waste any AD on retrain tokens and I'm gonna show you my build how it is basically now and how it would be without any of these boons and kind of what my stats look like then so here I am over on the preview server you can see my stats look a little bit different because this is generally the build I would was using when I was learning Zarya myself and what I used to help train others in Zarya. It's slightly different to what I have on the live server since you can kind of splash out on the preview server and just upgrade everything and easily obtain stuff that would be beyond your reach and far too expensive to even bother with on the live server. Anyway, so these are the currently current stats that I have and these are the boons that I have. I currently have 71 boons because if you go to the Zen store on the preview server, you can just freely purchase the campaign buyouts and just get all the boons that way. And that way you can also see the potential of your character and what it would look like if you did have those boon points. I made a video on how to access the preview server. It should be linked in the description below. But anyway, let's go ahead and remove all of these boon points. So here we go, we've moved all of the boom points, no longer have any here spent. We hop over to the character sheet. You can see there I have received a reduction in my HP because of the boons. You can get a total of 20,000 HP by putting them all into these points, as I do with my tank build. Highly recommend it with DPS also. I also lost a total of 5,000 power from all of these points that which I had here. You can see my power has dropped there down a total of 5,000. Other than that, I've lost a good bit of movement speed, losing that 12.5%. I lost some companion influence. However, companion influence is a very minor effect on your stats. And as you can see, with losing those boon points, I am still capped for what I need. I am a little bit low on deflect. That should be all right. And I essentially don't really lose much at all. The only thing I would really miss without having these boon points is the master boon focused retaliation for me in the zariel trial it helps a ton because zariel and the other bosses hit a ton in that trial and therefore you can get those big retaliates of that damage and it helps a huge ton with that aggro other than that i have lost a little bit of my stamina regen which i like four percent total there and just a few little bits of stats here and there but those are like tiny, like one boon point, 250 rating. That is like nothing compared to like looking at like this ring giving you 21,000. So as you can see here, I could easily run this build without any boon points and I would barely suffer any significant on my stats at all. Unlike tanks, DPS don't really have any good master boon here. Like Bloodlust, it works, but the damage bonus is incredibly tiny. It's like less than 1% of your overall damage when you actually test it on the combat tracker. And for healers, this Blessed Advantage and Blessed Resilience is just a really minor buff that you can give with those heals. It's absolutely tiny. So again, I cannot stress this enough. If you're a new player starting out, do not bother purchasing those campaign buyouts. They're a complete ripoff. If I go to the Zen store on the live server, you can see here they cost an F ton of Zen. Like 5,600 Zen is like 56 euro. That's insane. However, of course, you can obtain all of this premium currency, the Zen, with the Astral Exchange. However, it takes quite a long time. It's up to now six weeks per slot essentially here and you get queued behind because of this major major backlog of 29 
million zen. However, of course, all of these campaign buyouts can be purchased from the auction house itself. If you go to miscellaneous here, type in campaign and search it, you should see here all of the different campaign buyouts that people purchase from the Zen store and then go ahead and sell on the auction house. You can see the cheapest one there being Sharandar. As I mentioned previously, Sharandar is a very easy campaign to complete. And then of course we have Dreadrin, Underdark, Icewind Dale, Maze Engine, Ravenloft, Tyranny of Dragons, and so on and so forth. Their price is going up as their kind of value goes up. Because you can see here, some of them are a good bit more expensive than the others. You have these big kind of packs there where you can unlock multiple ones. Essentially they've split it up. You can pay a total of... 11,200 Zen. You can buy both of these bundles and essentially unlock all of these legacy campaigns down here. The other top ones here you have to actually grind out yourself, except I believe Acquisitions Incorporated. You can now purchase a com campaign completion for a hefty price there. So, yeah, I'll mention it again. Do not buy these. If you're a new player, do not buy these. Even as a veteran player, Unless you're building up a very new character and you just want those boon points, you have the AD and the Zan to just splash out and upgrade, then sure, by all means do so at your own expense. So that concludes this video. Hopefully this is helpful when you're starting out in Neverwinter. Just do yourself a favor and grind out the those campaigns slowly. There's no need to rush them whatsoever. No need to even purchase the buyouts for them at all. Just run through the storyline and enjoy yourself. A good thing to do is to grind out the relevant campaign if you have, for example, here a times two currency bonus like Icewind Dale has right here now. So hopefully this video was informative and that I presented it well. If I did, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.